Hello boys and girls from Life Center PH King Street in South Carolina and all kids from around the world. Welcome to today's daily devotion. And guess what we're going to be talking about? Let me hear it. Yep, you guessed it. The Ten Commandments because we're still not finished. If you remember from last week, we got through number eight, right? So there's ten, so that means we have two more. All right, let's start out by counting to ten. Let me hear you count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do it in Spanish, but this time I want you to say it real deep like a man. You ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. There you go. Good job, everybody. All right, so I hope you have been practicing your Ten Commandments and doing what they have been telling you that you should do. And I hope that you're memorizing it so then they're getting into your heart, okay? Because that's what we want to do as we're learning the Word of God. We want those words that we're learning to help us to become more like Jesus. Okay, now can you tell me where the Ten Commandments are found in the Bible? Yes, they are found in the book of Exodus in the Old Testament. They are found in Exodus 20. Okay, now let's see how good you've been doing on memorizing. What's the first Ten Commandment? You shall have no other gods before me. Do your windshield wiper. Okay, number two, you shall not have any idols. Number three, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Number four, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Number five, honor your father and your mother. Number six, do not murder. Number seven, do not commit adultery. Number eight, do not steal. Now we're at today's number nine. Number nine says, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Let me say it again. Listen carefully. I'm going to explain what those words mean. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Okay, false testimony means you're telling stories about somebody. You're talking about somebody. Or you're lying about somebody. Okay, now your neighbor. Is that just the person that is next door to you? No, because I'm out in the country. I live out in the middle of nowhere. I don't have any neighbors. But when it says do not give false testimony against my neighbor, that means anybody I come in contact with. So I go to school and I'm with my friends and I'm with my teachers and whoever I'm with, I should not leave school and be talking about them and say, did you hear what such and such said? Did you hear that person? Did you see that person drop her pencil? Oh, that was so funny. I shouldn't do that because that's not showing love or kindness. Then the other thing is I shouldn't go to church or anywhere. The grocery store is not just school, but what about the people at church? Should I say, did you see that person at the altar today? Crying their hearts out. Yep, they need forgiveness. No, I can't do that. I can't be talking about other people. I can't be talking about the kids at church and being mean about it. I can't be making up stories. Now, if someone was sick, it's okay to say, Mama, did you hear that so, such and such, that person was sick? We need to pray for that person. That is a good thing. There are times that you can talk about people, but to talk about people that are things that are happening to them or things that they did or said in a rude way is what this is saying not to do. Don't spread rumors. Make sure that what you are talking about is something that you would say in front of that person. If you, would, if you were talking about someone, would you want that person to hear what you're saying? That's something to ask. If it's not something that you don't want that person to hear you say or ask, guess what? Don't say it. And if it is not something nice, don't say it. So think about what you say before you say it. And I know you have probably heard your mamas and your daddies and uncles and aunts and all kinds of adults in your life tell you, think before you speak. And that is the truth. And this is part of where it comes from because we should not give false testimony against 
our neighbors. Now let's pray. When I pray, I fold my hands, I close my eyes, I think about God and He hears me. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful day. I thank you for the trees and the birds. I just thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon me and my family. I thank you for my health. I thank you for giving me sight. And I thank you for giving me hands. I thank you for giving me feet. I thank you for giving me a mouth. And I pray, Lord Jesus, right now that you will help me to use my mouth wisely. Help me not to tell lies about others. And help me not to say things about others that might bring harm to them or hurt their feelings or hurt them in a, in a, in a bad way, Lord Jesus. I just pray that you will just help me to make good decisions on what comes out of my mouth. Help me to think before I speak. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you will open up my ears and the ears of those who are listening, that when they are getting ready to speak, if they're not supposed to say it, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will speak to their ears and that you will help them to hear you, Lord, when you say, don't say it. Help them to be obedient to your voice into your word. I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now go out and memorize these nine commandments because guess what? we got one more. And by the end of it, hopefully you will know all of them. I love you. Have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Just like us.